The Cabinet of Ministers yesterday gave the green light to a proposal put forth by the Prime Minister to sign a memorandum of understanding to implement South Korea's Seemol Undong program. In 2015, the Sabargamu Provincial Council entered into a MOU with the Seemol Foundation and started the Seemol program in Sri Lanka. By now, the MOU has expired and it has been proposed to sign a new MOU so that all provinces of Sri Lanka can be covered by the respective project. The CMO program helps South Korea transform the traditional agrarian economy in rural Korea into an industrialized, export-oriented economy by improving infrastructure, livelihoods, welfare and education. Meanwhile, the cabinet also gave the approval for the Ceylon Electricity Board to implement the solar power project with the National Thermal Power Cooperation of India in two stages. As the first stage of this project, it is expected to implement a solar power project of 50 megawatts with the total estimated investment of $42.5 million and to construct a 220 kilowatts transmission line with 40 kilometers length from Sampur to Kapulture, spending $23.6 million. US dollars. The first stage is expected to be completed in two years from 2024 to 2025. A solar power generation plant with an additional 85 megawatts is expected to be constructed under total investment of $72 million during the second phase of this project. In addition, it has been planned to construct a transmission line of 76 kilometers with a capacity of 220 kilowatts from Kapulture to New Havarana, with an estimated expenditure of $42 million in order to distribute the electricity generated.